Do you still use Deftouch darts at Calvite King, or do you have a bunch of those darts sitting in your bank because of recent treasure hunter promotions? Well then this is the video for you, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy RuneScape content, be sure to subscribe. Deftouch darts are throwable ranged items that will instantly kill most monsters and bosses in this game. The reason I say most is because there are exceptions, mainly being new content like the Zamrak and Goldish Dungeon 3 bosses, or large group content like Raids, Next Angel of Death, and Solak are not able to be instant killed using this dart. Well, except for that one time when there was a Death Touch dart bug, and if you're interested in that, check out the video linked in the description below. Here's a list of bosses you can use these darts at. Now, there are bosses where life points are considered separate per phase, like Calphite Queen or Telos when using these darts, and these bosses will require more darts. You can obtain these Death Touch darts, first of all, through daily challenges in case the weekly progress wards, which you can claim after completing a certain amount of challenges, include Death Touch darts. That includes entirely depends on whatever rotation is going on and if those rewards are in there, but you can see that by going inside the interface and checking what rewards you can obtain. Depending on the stock of the traveling merchant, which rotates by the way, you'll be able to buy these darts for 5 million GP each and you'll only be able to buy one every single time. But by far the easiest way of obtaining Death Touch darts nowadays is through event boxes, Amazon Prime, those kind of things or through Treasure Hunter if there's a PVM related promotion. And yes, that's exactly why I'm making this video. More players than ever will have access to these darts thanks to the last two Treasure Hunter promotions. So where should you be using your Death Touch darts? Well, in any case, you should not be using them at the Calphite King. Believe it or not, I've seen players talking about using their Death Touch darts at the Calphite King boss, which is just terrible advice because on average, with all rare drops taken into account, you would only be making 688,000 GP per kill on average, which is not very good. Now, another popular choice for using your Death Touch darts is Nex. Now, Nex is a far better choice for your Death Touch darts because Nex on average will provide you with around 1.7 million GP per kill, taking all drops into account. Because Nex has so many drops, you'd have a 1 in 22 chance, so 1 in every 22 kills on average, to get a single rare drop. So that could be a Torva Full Helm, a Zarai Bow, a Rutus Book, Torva Plate Legs, it doesn't matter. To get any drop, it's a 1 in 22 chance. Now, 1.7 mil still isn't very high on average, and the highest drop you can get, or the most expensive drop you can get at Nex is a Torva Play Body. Now, a Torva Play Body is 150 mil. So, you know, that'll pay for 30 darts if you would be buying these at the Traveling Merchant, but you probably got them for free through a Treasure Hunter promotion or something else. So, I guess that 5 million GP cost doesn't really matter. But there's a better choice to use your Death Touch darts, but it does require some PVM skill. And that is the Ambassador. Now, the reason the Ambassador is so good is because you can get Eldritch Crossbow pieces. And because of that, the average GP per kill is incredibly high at 19.3 million GP. The odds of you obtaining an Eldritch Crossbow piece at the Ambassador are far lower than getting any drop at Nex at 1 in 55 kills. However, if you do and you hit the Lucky Jackpot, that is going to be a nice payday. The only issue with the Ambassador is that if you cannot do PVM or you're an Iron Man or you just so not a very high level player, getting to the Ambassador itself can be a bit of a struggle as you also need to take out the Karasin Leviathan and target the Necromancer boss. Now if you can't make it to the Ambassador because of skill or perhaps gear issues, you may want to use your darts at Nex instead, which is why I still mention Nex, although it's far better to use them at the Ambassador. And when you're using darts, do not forget to use your Luck of the Dwarves if you have one for that 1% additional luck. The only downside to these Death Touch darts is that you do not get kill count and therefore also cannot progress through your Reaper task and will not get a boss kill timer. Now, while you do not get kill count for using a Death Touch dart at a boss, if you bring a buddy along and let them hit the boss first and then Death Touch dart it, they will actually get a kill count and be able to attune their PVM hub portal to that boss. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.